History of Wind Turbine For thousands of years people have used windmills to pump water or grind grain. Even into the 20th century tall, slender, multi-veined wind turbines made entirely of metal were used in American homes and ranches to pump water into the house's plumbing system or into the cattle's watering trough. After World War I, work was begun to develop wind turbines that could produce electricity. Marcellus Jacobs invented a prototype in 1927 that could provide power for a radio and a few lamps but little else. When demand for electricity increased later, Jacobs's small, inadequate wind turbines fell out of use. The first large-scale wind turbine built in the United States was conceived by Palmer Coslett Putnam in 1934, he completed it in 1941. The machine was huge. The tower was 36.6 yards, 33.5 meters, high, and its two stainless steel blades had diameters of 58 yards, 53 meters. Putnam's wind turbine could produce 1,250 kilowatts of electricity, or enough to meet the needs of a small town. It was, however, abandoned in 1945 because of mechanical failure. With the 1970s oil embargo, the United States began once more to consider the feasibility of producing cheap electricity from wind turbines. In 1975 the prototype motto was in operation. This was a 100-kilowatt turbine with two 21-yard, 19-meter, blades. More prototypes followed, Mod A, Mod 1, Mod 2, etc., each larger and more powerful than the one before. Currently, the United States Department of Energy is aiming to go beyond 3,200 kilowatts per machine. Many different models of wind turbines exist, the most striking being the vertical axis darriers, which is shaped like an egg beater. The model most supported by commercial manufacturers, however, is a horizontal axis turbine, with a capacity of around 100 kilowatts and three blades not more than 33 yards, 30 meters, in length. Wind turbines with three blades spin more smoothly and are easier to balance than those with two blades. Also, while larger wind turbines produce more energy, the smaller models are less likely to undergo major mechanical failure, and thus are more economical to maintain. Wind farms have sprung up all over the United States, most notably in California. Wind farms are huge arrays of wind turbines set in areas of favorable wind production. The great number of interconnected wind turbines is necessary in order to produce enough electricity to meet the needs of a sizable population. Currently, 17,000 wind turbines on wind farms owned by several wind energy companies produce 3.7 billion kilowatt-hours of electricity annually, enough to meet the energy needs of 500,000 homes.